Okay, gang. Thanks for hopping on to join me. Uh, today I'm making a kale cedar salad. I'm super excited to make this one. And one of the reasons why I'm excited, to, and I decided to go, instead of doing Zoom and then going through that pathway to come to Facebook Live, I decided to just go live right from my page because I think what I can see is I think I'm going to be able to see uh, comments. So I'm going to try and keep this open so I can eat comments as well. In case you make any comments, I'll try and answer those as we get going. Kale Caesar salad. And again, another reason why, so I print out the page from my book. I don't know if that focuses in or not. Now, this is pretty uh, um, uh, blurry. Uh, but 16 grams of protein per serving. Uh, that excites me. That excites me when I make one of my recipes and the grams of protein are nice and high. So to start off, you know, if you're going to follow along, then I'd presume that you've, you know, grabbed the, the page. You'll see it on my page somewhere. I'll put the ingredients. Uh, I probably should have put it here. But after I'm done uh, and I convert this into a YouTube video or the comments below this live, I'll make sure to put all the ingredients uh, in case you want to come back and watch this. And maybe you're watching this on a replay. Thanks for doing that. But if you're here and you saw the recipe already and you grabbed the ingredients, what I like to do is I sort of separate the kitchen into, you know, I grab, I grab all the measuring pieces, right? I grab all the measuring pieces that I need. I somewhat have the kitchen divided up all over here is going to be my, my, my ingredients for my dressing. And over here, are primarily my ingredients for another part of it, like the, the, the Caesar or the, the kale or the chickpeas. Uh, now the other thing I've done is I've gone ahead and, in, in the sake of time, because a lot of these I want to do, I want to try and keep it in a 30 minute window. That's my goal to try and get this done in 30 minutes. So what I did was I already started cooking the chickpeas uh, in the oven. So those only have about five or five, maybe 10 more minutes uh, left. I'm using my watch. So I, I learned this past week because a lot the watch has a little timer on it. So a little timer and then my wrist is going to vibrate when that's done. That's going to be important because as I use my AirPods, Hopefully you're hearing me okay. Uh, once in a while I'll come in to see if there's any comments, but there's there's nobody. There's absolutely nobody nobody watching. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about eating plants. <laughs> but I do, and that's why I decided to go live and do this more often. Um, so the chickpeas are baking off in the oven. In another four or five minutes or so, I'll give them a little shake. I've got my lentils. Now the recipe calls for you can get uh, green lentils in a can, a 14-ounce and you would drain them and they're already pre-cooked. I decided to get them fresh right from the scratch. So I got, I bought this brand here, True Roots it's called. It's an organic sprouted, help, sprouted helps unlock nutrients. Green lentils, good source of protein. Oh, how many protein in one serving? Oh, you're kidding, nine grams of protein in one serving. Hello, plant protein. Um, so while those are cooking, those are going to finish, and in the meantime, we're going to we're going to prepare the kale, right? So if you're following along, uh, I've got my really cool new bowl. Look at that baby, huh? Look at that. Wait, have we listen? Yeah, there's a James Webb telescope. They're sending us a message saying it just picked up some phenomenal pictures. Um, all right, so look at that. Look at that bunch bunch of kale I got. Does that look beautiful? What? So cool. That thing's going to come keep falling down on me. And then here's another tool we got. I don't know even know where we got this. Chefin. Chefin. C-H-E-F apostrophe N. Look at that, baby. So depending on the stalk of your kale, there's a little mini one, right? So I find the, find the hole. I'm going to use that one right there. I'm going to slide it in, in there, poke it through. Look at that. And then I pull it through, right? And it's going to primarily take, oop, shot across the room. And there's my kale leaf. And I've de-stemmed, de-stemmed my kale. This is going to tick me off. This thing keeps falling over. I've got to fold that like that. Uh, oh, look at that one. Big leaf, right? And then I'm going to find the hole that it fits pretty good. And then I'm just going to take it and pull it through. And it leaves just the leaves. Oh, there's some stray ones. I'll pop those off. Put them there. Recipe called for, I think, nine ounces. Yeah, nine ounces of, of kale, which you know, I'm going to rough that. I'm going to rough that. I'm not going to, I don't have a food scale, right? So while the chickpeas are cooking, I'm just going to de-stem 
my kale. Now, some of you know you can you can buy a bag uh, that's just the pieces of kale. If you wanted to do that, you can do that. I kind of like fresh. I like going from scratch here and getting the kale even. Look at that. Is that insane? That's insane. Just pull that through. Oh, see, my timer just went off. So that tells me that I need to be cautious and conscious of my chickpeas. So we will check those right now and see how they're doing. All right, they can use a little more time. We'll throw the light on there. So those are cooking. We got the kale. And then as this kale, as I start destemming that, I'm going to throw them into my big pot. Uh, I guess we're going to chop that down a little bit. Uh, you know, kale, if you're not a big fan of kale, for me, I have to I somewhat massage it down, like when we were to put some oil on it in the seasoning. I'm going to massage it down to try and break break down that, that kale. Uh, so it's not as stiff, right? Like just like this, right? Take a bite of that. That's pretty stiff. That's pretty stiff. You should relax a little bit there, Kale. You should you should kind of just take a chill. You should you should smoke of that one here, Kale, and just relax. And there's a big stalk. So what do I have? I've got a bigger hole. Squeeze it through. Pull that through. Yeah, I mean that bite of Kale that I just took. Yeah, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of kale all by itself without any seasoning. Uh, so I'm just going to keep separating my kale from the stalk. Slide that through there. And of course, I wear the appropriate shirt. Oh, okay, I'll know. Okay, I'll know. And as my cutting board fills up, I just come over here. I dump my kale into there. Look for another big stalk. Insane. Insane. There just happened to be some leaves that escaped through that hole. I'm going to grab those. Keep putting them over there. I've got a lot of kale here, so I'm not going to need all this kale. And I'll check on my, my lentils. My lentils are looking perfect. I'll keep checking on my on my chickpeas so we're just preparing our kale right now so if you're watching along if you're watching the replay i'm making a kale caesar salad with a homemade dressing we're using tahini nutritional yeast we're using apple cider vinegar we're using almond milk we're using cashews raw cashews that we're going to throw into a pot here in a bit as well but the kale once I get this dialed down, the kale is also going to go into the oven. So now if I bring my big bowl over, so now I'm just going to take it and tear it apart, right? You can do this in a couple different ways. You can take a, a knife. I just do this because as I'm tearing this, it's also kind of breaking down the little mini ribs of the kale, right? So just to make it uh, more fun to eat it. And they're not as stiff, right? So there. So I just keep tearing it apart, almost to the point where I'm really kind of breaking it down into, also um, into bite-sized pieces, if I like to. All right. So the kale, uh, the chickpeas are cooking. I got the lentils cooking back here. We're gonna get this kale into the oven, and then we're gonna start knocking out the dressing. The dressing is the killer, right? Like in a lot of my recipes. Uh, and you know, I mean, you know, the dressing and the sauce that you make for the for the recipe. That's the that's the uh, that's the that's the main um, link uh, in making a meal taste good, right? Right? Because we wouldn't eat this kale just plain. I mean, a rabbit might. The rabbit would be like, oh my gosh, that's, that kale tastes so good. Uh, so now I'm going to move this kale out of my way. All those stalks are going to go into a green bin to recycle that. That, but we're going to move this over here, get out of the way. We got that cooking over there. Break this down a little bit more. Now, for me, now I like to, uh, you know, in the recipe it talks about drizzling the oil and the sort and the cumin uh, over the chickpeas. I don't, I don't like to drizzle over. For me, like I put the oil and the cumin 
a little bit of salt in here, the olive oil uh, in the base of the bowl, and then I chuck the chickpeas in there, and then I mix it up with my spatula because I want to get I want to get full coverage. I want full coverage. I don't want just drizzle, right? So I want full coverage of that chickpea uh, before they go into the oven, and that leads to me saying that that's exactly what I want to do with it with the kale. Uh, so then. Uh, that's in the oven. Uh, meanwhile, place the kale into a separate baking sheet, drizzle with the remaining oil uh, and with salt. That's where I don't like to drizzle. So I'm going to take that one teaspoon of olive oil here. All right, I'm going to measure it out pretty specifically. The recipe calls for two tablespoons, one for the chickpeas and one for the kale. So I'm going to stick to that. That was pretty clean, right? The kale was clean, um, in case you're wondering, uh, which could be a, uh, a concern as well, right? So you want you want clean, clean vegetables, but you know, this is going to go in the oven. This kale is going to go in the oven to get to get it crispy. In case you're wondering, we're not just going to eat like this. We're going to make the kale crispy. So now, now your hands get dirty. Right? So now, now there's a massage and it takes place. I'm going to take my hands. I've got that a little bit, and it's only a tablespoon, but I don't know if you can see that, but you know that when you massage it like that, that oil is plenty. It doesn't feel like a lot at first, but when you massage it back and forth like this, the leaves get covered plenty right there. And then my salt's ready, and then I'm pretty close to now, because I'm just gonna chuck this in for five minutes. The kale's gonna go into the oven for five minutes at the end of cooking off the, uh, the uh, chickpeas, uh, and then oily. So I'm going to come over, quick rinse. Oil off, and now I'm going to sprinkle that with some salt, some sea salt. We use these as sea salt crystals. Just a little bit of dab of beer right there, and now I'll bring my I'll bring my cooking sheets over. We're doing these two of these little mini ones right now. I might get some bigger ones. And now I'm just going to uh, separate it into two two bowls. I mean, separate it into two pans. Get it nice evenly on there. And then, you know, at this point, I don't know if you like salt. You want to do more salt. You could always. You might notice that I, I'm not turning. Hey, I'm not turning the grinder. Plenty comes out, right? Like you use this particular one, a grinder, and I grind it like this. But even if I do this and shake that without grinding, well, guess what? If you do that, you put in your hand, plenty comes out. So there, I got my salt on there. Um, and now these are going to go into the oven to finish off with the end of the chickpeas. So I think I get cut off in the camera. So I'm going this way to go to the oven and I'll open that up. Yeah, see now I'm taking a peek of the chickpeas. They look perfect. And now I'm gonna set another, let me pull those out so you can see those. Uh, well, they're gonna go right back in. So I'm here, yeah, so. I give it a little bit of jiggle, a jiggle. I keep jiggling, and then before you know it, they've all danced with one another, and they're all doing the dance together. Can you see that? Look at that. Look at that. It's like the dipping beans there. Look at them. They're all, they're all, none of them are stuffed in the pan, and it's, it's almost, they're just about done, or I like to get them crunchy. That's going to be a point, this whole thing. So I'm going to toss them back in for that five minutes that that kale is going to bake up. Now my clock... I'm going to reset it. Boom. It just started again. And my clock is going for five minutes. So when that vibrates, I know, I know I'm know i done there. Now let's get to the good part. So I've got my lentils. I've tucked those cooked off. Those are just cooling down now. All right? Those are just cooling from the cooking that I did. I started that a little bit earlier to get that done. I'm keeping that covered. The other lentils are how you cook them. It's all different packaging, so you figure out figure that out. All right. So then, I'm gonna now I'm gonna now into, now into the dressing. Now comes the fun part, right? So it calls for two thirds. So I've got my pot 
It calls for two thirds of cashews. Now I've got raw pieces, right? I don't have a full cashew, so if I throw, I'm gonna have a quarter, I don't have a two thirds measuring cup. So I have a quarter cup. So I'm gonna do two of those right into the cooking pot there. And then it just says cover with water. Make sure place the cashews in a small pot and cover with water. Bring to a boil, simmer for five minutes. So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna cover with water. Right there, so that on a nice hot heat, that gets hot really fast, it gets cooking. So that's going there, bring to a boil and then simmer on high, um, bring to a boil and simmer on high for five minutes. Drain the cashews, place them into a food processor. So I've got my blender ready. If you don't, get your blender and your food processor ready. Um, it has the remaining dressing ingredients uh, until blended smooth. Now while that's, while these five minutes are going on those cashews, instead of dumping the ingredients one at a time into my blender or food processor. Well, I want to put it, I want to already measure them out into one bowl uh, and then and then dump it in. So I'll get one of these, these beautiful green bowls that match, match my shirt there. Let me check, see if anybody's, uh, oh, look at all the beautiful people. Um, <laughs> appreciate that, Hector. Hey, Angie. <laughs> yes, that kale that, that kale gadget is un, unreal. Oh, thanks, Tracy. Appreciate that. A newfound appreciation for chickpeas. Ah, my evil plan is working. <laughs> thanks, dude. <laughs> yeah, if we can if we can get past that whole chickpea deal, um, they can one they provide such great level of protein. Uh, so now I'm done with this, right? The, the lentils and the cumin. Uh, you know, I can set those aside. So when I'm done with something, I like to get it out of my sight because if I see it, uh, I think I might make a mistake. <laughs> All right, so the dressing now. We've got the cashews cooking on the on there. They're going to come to a boil. I've got to make sure I watch that because I got my timer over there, but I got this going over here. So if you, if you feel like I'm forgetting, if you back over here and you see a fire burning over here, then, you know, message me on Facebook here. So let me know what I'm, hey, it's burning behind you. Uh, so let's make the uh, two, six tablespoons of almond milk. There. Is that my tablespoon? Here's my tablespoon. This is the fun part right here, gang. This is where the taste comes in, right? So I'm going to do, I like to be, yeah, this is the exact, right? It's two, three, four, five. Six, six tablespoons of almond milk, half a tea, tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I've got my half. See, I've already got it out here. There it is. There's my half. So I'm not running to a drawer to find to find it. I got my apple cider vinegar. Stuff is absolutely nasty by itself, but whatever. Now we're putting it into. A, make sure it's nice and mixed up in there. Looks like we're. That's ready from the bottle. These things last forever, right? Like we, we got this like in 1999. I still have it. It's crazy. Crazy. So, boom. That's it. I'm just going down my list, right? And then I go in my list. It's kind of a check mark. Tahini. Two teaspoons of tahini. I have my teaspoon out already. I bought this organic um, tahini. And that's how to shake it up. So I drink it. Now you shake it up. It reminds me of with the kids. And Carl, I would do that. It would make the kids talk like that. They couldn't talk. And then we had fun with that. Sorry. Sidebar. Sidebar. Oh, see, here's my cashew bag sitting over here. It's it's making it's getting me distracted. Almond milk. I'm done with that. So let me move that over there. You know what? Throw some cashews down. Cashews are boiling. So now I'm going to let it simmer. I'm going to bring that heat down. Let it simmer. Boom. There's a five minute clock on that. So let's take a peek in here. Oh my gosh, so good. I'm just going to turn the oven off. Oven is off. Can we go in there? Back to here, right? We gotta go, boom, boom. So tahini, 
I'm making sure I mix it up. Two teaspoons. Two teaspoons. Where's my teaspoon? There it is. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Look at that. It's got like a little, it's cool, like a, like a squeeze, squeeze, squeezy thing. There. It's a little thicker, tahini. A little thicker, so I heard some noise somewhere. How do we play music? We should probably have like some kind of music playing. I think I got all that out of there. So we got the tahini. And then tahini, uh, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast. So I've got my nutritional yeast. I either have a, a shaker, or you have one side where you can get deeper in there. Uh, now here's the thing. I have my tablespoon thing is, is a little dirty from the oil and the almond milk. So what I'll sometimes do is that might stick to the inside of that. So I grab my half a tablespoon, right, because it calls for one tablespoon of it. So which means I'm just going to do two of those. So slide this in. It's got the nice scrape wall, that like ceiling wall. Scrape it. So there's a half. And there's another half. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure if you add a half and a half, that's going to give you one. Hopefully I got that right. Um, lemon juice. One tablespoon of lemon juice. Now the lemon juice is kind of liquidy, so that I'm okay with. It's going to go right into this same tablespoon. But the dry ingredient, the nutritional yeast, that would make much sense. One tablespoon of lemon juice. So we'll squeeze that in there. Right there. I wonder if we could have... We got some music playing. If we had music playing, now you guys can have music playing at your own place. Oh, we're almost... Okay, we got to start pulling stuff out of the oven. Right? See, uh, this. I'm done with this and it shouldn't have been here. It shouldn't have been here. That should have been over in the sink. Now I've got just a pinch of salt in there. I'm going to use my cool little, look at that little whisker. A little whisker. And I'm going to whisk that together, right? Because that's going to go into the blender here with the, um, with the cashews any moment. And then we're just about done. Right there. See, now that all those ingredients, those wet ingredients, and a little bit of a dry with the nutritional yeast and the tahini, those are all nice and mixed up. Now I'm noticing there's a little bit of nutritional yeast that got stuck this side of that, so I don't want to miss out on any drop of ingredients. All right, so let me pull out out of the oven because that looks, where's my, uh, here we go. So oven is off. We're gonna pull this stuff out. <laughs> They're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. They are perfect. And what excites me even more is the kale. Some of the edges got. Can you see that? So they're 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 crunchy. They're crunchy. So perfect. So perfect. But what I'm just realizing right now as I'm cooking this is I probably should have done more kale, like nine ounces of kale. I thought that was quite a bit of kale, but I'm coming up a little bit short. So what I'll probably do, I'm going to cut this video when we finish here. Um, I'm going to cook up some more. So you got to watch out those are hot over there. And look, they didn't stick to the, they didn't stick to the pan. They're perfect, perfect. But I'm going to cook some more off because I don't think I cooked enough because I'm cooking for, this says it serves four, uh, I definitely got to cook up some more kale because I'm going to make a nice big bowl for um, Jennifer, Jake, and I. Okay, so that's been simmering. And then I'm going to drain that in the sink right there. So I'll get my drainer. didn't have this out. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. So I'm just going to go into the high blender, 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 and the blender, add a little more milk as required to reach the desired consistency. So I'm going to slowly... Uh, add some almond milk to it to change the consistency depending on how it starts to come out in there. So now I'm going to take my cashews that have been simmering nicely. It came to a boil. I think we had that in five minutes for sure. I'm going to come over to the sink. Let's 
Got them all out. All of them out right there. Nice. Nice. And now, and now here's what I want to do. I want to put in the, the there's wet ingredients. So instead of throwing in the cashews in the bottom of the blender, I think that doesn't seem smart. It doesn't seem smart like to throw the nuts down the bottom first. I want to put the liquid in first. So here goes the liquid. All done there. Dirty. Goes over there. It's, it's out of my way. As I say that, I can close this. I can close this. This. Done with those. So I'll go over there. Get out of my way. You go over there. There. My lentils look beautiful. Those are nice and cooked off there. There. And now I've got those. And now I'm going to come over here. Where's my little guy? My little spatula. I just love this little spatula thing right here. That little spatula. Because there was like six cashews. Now again, I use pieces, right? Because that's what I had in the in the in the cupboard. Um, I think that it calls for whole cashews, but it doesn't say you can't use pieces. So I'm going to take those. Those have been drained out. Those have been cooked right there. And now I just double check, right? I put the lemon juice in there, the pinch of salt, nutritional yeast, tahini apple cider vinegar, almond milk, cashews. Those are all in the dressing, ready to go. So now, um, where's my top? Where's my top to my blender? I'll start at low speed. And we'll just get that going for the dressing. It's already looking amazing. And you can see that, but the color just looks, it looks like Caesar salad dressing is what it looks like. I'll turn the Speed up, get that going really good. And then we're basically ready. Where are we at? We got like three minutes to go and we're, and we're good. Let me see what you guys are saying. You guys, I appreciate you guys saying, um, <laughs> thanks Rob. <laughs> oh, thank you, good looking. <laughs> oh, Foxy, that's cool. Alaska, hi Meg, coming in from Alaska. Thanks for saying hello. Appreciate that. Um, super excited here. Um, I've never met that. I've never met. I've never made this recipe before. So super excited. Super excited about making it. I'm gonna crank up the 3,000 to see how we're doing at 3,000. So you gotta check the air pressure in the room because if you go too high, you gotta call the the people. So now I'm looking at the consistency, and the consistency looks, it just looks perfect. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a creamy dressing. I should, you probably want to see that. Let me pour that out so you can see that. What's a good, um, a good glass for you to, to see what that looks like. Let me come up like this, right here. You can see, I want you to see that drip out of there. Can you see that, the thickness? Can you see the viscosity of that? That's gonna be our dressing. That's, it's, it's thick, probably a little bit on the thicker side, but, oh, but we gotta taste that. I gotta taste that. That just looks too darn good right there. And the only problem with the, you know, the difference between a food processor, you know, this is my blender that I make my shake with, so you gotta make sure I really clean that out. And, and I'm going to take my spatula and get all that out of there. But are you kidding me? I just had some drop. That is insane how good that tastes. That's going to go on top of my salad. So I'm going to make a mini bowl um, for myself right now because I want to have a, a taste with you guys right here at the last minute. Uh, again, I told you guys I'm going to try and keep this. 30 minutes. I'm going to go back to your, uh, yes, the viscosity. <laughs> viscosity is so important. <laughs> Thank you, Claire. Uh, oh, you're, oh, be careful with that shell. Uh, cause this, this Chris, you know, running at 450 temperature, um, it went, it, it crisped, crisped, crisped 
really quickly. It took only five minutes because the oven was already super hot with the chickpeas at 450. Boom, the kale went in, seasoned. In five or six minutes, it was done. Uh, let me get a bowl out. Bowl out and fork. I'm gonna get a little, a little guy right here. I got a, a little, a couple, a little prong deal. Um, I can't, I can't express to you guys how much I appreciate uh, you watch. I'm gonna try and convert this into a YouTube video, so this will be, this will be out there. But we're at 30 minutes, so I'm gonna close this out. I've got my lentils, I've got my kale ready, I've got my chickpeas ready, I've got my bowl ready, I've got my dressing ready. So here we go. So now. To serve, transfer the crispy kale and chickpeas into a bowl. So I'm going to just take a little bit of the chickpea, uh, the, the kale. So I'm dropping a little bit of kale in the bottom of that bowl. And it, can you, you can't hear it. I mean, you can hear it. Hear that? Do you hear that? It's like, it's like crispy. And now I go over to my chickpeas, which are just, they're just sitting there waiting. Right, so I scoop some up with that, and I just come way high, and I just drop them one at a time onto my kale. Let's take a little more. And honestly, what I can't wait for is I can't wait to serve this to Jennifer and Jake. That's what I can't wait for, because that little taste of that dressing I just had was unreal. And then I'm going to come over here. Now, the green lentils look like they could have could have cooked a little bit. Uh, they could have looked like they have a little bit of water, but I'm going to take, didn't really say how much. Uh, it just says transfer chickpeas into a big bowl, add the drained lentils, and drizzle over with the dressing. I'm taking some of the lentils. I'm going to toss it on top of that. I'm just making a small, small little tasting version of this. And then I'm going to take a little bitty baby spoon and now that dressing, right? I'll take... Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect dressings. I'll take about a half a spoon of that right there. I'm just gonna let that drip on top of there, like so. Put that back in there. And then a little bit, I, I don't even wanna mess it up, but I'm gonna mess it up. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's the kale. The dance party just started. The kale, the chickpeas are dancing, and the lentils are saying, "Hey, can I cut in?" Sure, come on in. And then the dressing said, "Hey, we want some fun." So it's all mixed up now. And the kale came out perfect sizes, right? Like I mentioned, I tore them apart to the size to the so they're they're basically down to bite sizes. So now is the tricky part. Now I want to try and get I want to try and get some lentils. I want to try and get kale, and I want to try and get the chickpea and dressing all in the same bite. You can't hear the crunching in my, in my head. But in the cranium, the crunchy, and it's just breaking apart so easy. And I told you the dressing made it. The dressing was the killer right there. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to stop. That's, that's it. That's the, I'll put the description of the, the, um, <laughs> ingredients and the deal below this video and hopefully I convert this to a YouTube um, so then if you wanted to follow along in this video uh, and cook it with me then that'd be awesome but this tastes great oh my gosh I can't wait to serve it to them <laughs> mm. oh wait I hear it Don't talk me about fault. Did you hear that? It happened again. I did a I did a video last week with a recipe, and during the time that I was doing it, I felt it. I felt myself get stronger. I felt myself get stronger because of plants, plants. So, oh, kale, no. Do I need animal protein? Oh, kale, no. And what a perfect shirt for today for the kale Caesar salad. I'm gonna stop. I'm going to end the live video. Guys, appreciate you watching it live and coming in, popping in and saying hello. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm doing another one on Thursday, which is a really cool recipe on Thursday. Um, can't wait to do that. It'll be 2 o'clock on Thursday. 
and I'm just going to keep doing this because one, I love, I love doing this and doing this with y'all, but I love cooking up recipes and then serving it to my family. That makes me feel, that brings me joy. Um, and if you're watching this on a replay, thanks for watching the replay. Love you. Peace, love, and hugs. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. Make the rest of the day amazing. Let me see if there's any more comments I should. Hmm, better check my oven then. Yes, check your oven. Oh, good. I'm glad you hear it. <laughs> Thanks, Debbie. So good. So good. Peace out. Peace out. Can you see my right there? Peace. Peace. Love you guys.